He's gone from challenger to fourth round to first round in the last few drafts. Yeah. I mean, we're pumped. And uh, he doesn't mind being a, a public figure. Or, I mean, he loves it. He's the fact that he's chosen first round. And he should be. He's put in the work to do it. So, And he's electric on Twitter. Oh, Do we want a sidebar to that right now? or, or do we? <laughs> we can. Um, yeah, I, I mean, like I was just following that constantly refreshing just looking for more uh more food. i mean it, christian was just in the trenches I, battling three massive but, names alone fighting for pickleball and dude. no one was coming to his rescue i don't know why i mean i don't think there could be who could be coming to their rescue because like a curios and erotic don't see anyone in pickleball as their equivalents on an athlete or a competitive stage so like even ben chiming in you know, to plus one Christian or the general point, like, I don't know if would have carried that much weight, you know, like you would have needed their own big tennis representative, like an Agassi to be like chiming in who's played it and, you know, slightly and says, you know, yeah, you would need someone up. from the tennis yeah. world to come in and, and defend pickleball. Yeah. Or Cause no one from pickleball. right now we're it's big tennis has its establishment and obviously has its history. And, um, but I, I, I I like the idea that like Christian was just sharing a take and it's a it's a bit of a spicy one and certainly going at the, the bear and the incumbent, but he didn't like at those guys, you know. It's like if if it Someone was so thought, nonsensical yeah. of a statement, I don't think they should engage. They've got millions of dollars, they've got families, they've got careers. It's like why are you on the tweets engaging with this like quote unquote like never competitive tennis guy who played pickleball because it's fun dude elon's it's, still tweeting out there he doesn't need i it. mean Rod i mean elon's yeah. if you follow roddick he's like constantly on twitter right. going at people and like uh, yeah but for, no but i'm just saying like, if there is some he, merit he, he, there's some he, contention he, he, for it to even be engaged with over the course of days if because otherwise it would just be like trolling spam it was not bucketed like that you know and they came into his territory so. so let's read the actual tweet for no for the people who didn't see it. But Christian just tweets and he's always tweeting stuff like this, like just, you know, kind of bold statements, a little bite to him, just seeing what he can what kind of engagement he can stir up. This one happened to be caught by I don't know who the first one to respond was, whether it was Blake. I think it was James Blake, but he tweeted pickleball has made me a much better athlete than tennis ever did. Faster reaction time and speed are needed since the ball is only coming from 10 feet away. Point for point, pickleball requires more skill than tennis. And uh, the first, yeah, so it was James Blake who kind of snagged it and was the first one to reply, which the, broke it into the tennis the world. Bait. Yeah, and James well, Blake goes, ha ha, that might be because you were playing a pretty low level of tennis. Maybe if you were familiar with the athleticism it takes to excel at the sport, you would realize how ridiculous the statement is. Nick Kyrgios follows up. Yeah, let's hide under the bed after the statement. Ha 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 ha, bro. Get me the best pickleball player and compare his talent to Roger Federer. Wild tweet, wild thought. Delete right now. I love pickle, but you had too many tequilas. <laughs> this is yeah. this is like this is good. This is, rough this is what because, pickleball needs. Well, yeah, but also these guys are in the tennis world. These guys are probably pickleball's biggest defenders as well. Like James. Yeah, no, nope. that's that's true. That, oh. It, James and Nick are like both love pickleball, but Blake no. Our James is no longer as a team. The Masher. Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, that's fair. But the Masher. Oh, the yeah. Masher's. I don't think that's James's fault. Is it? Yeah. That's James's fault. Yeah. Scratch. It's not the, the hedge fund guy that. that Scratch and pickleball. No, I think Scratch the hedge fund guy followed James. Is like it's not. He doesn't want to be doing it anymore. Hmm. Interesting. So, Former ML Palooza star. No, I'm I not. I'm serious. Happened. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. He's capping. Andy Roddick goes, it's Either. pretty hard to say one of the most ridiculous things on Twitter in a given day. <laughs> Tell you what, <laughs> anyone pick that up is a very good tweet person ever ranks higher in tennis than what Sock will be at the end of the year in his new paid pickle hobby. I'll commentate a pickleball match standing on my head. This ain't a real discussion, fun game, ton, dumb conversation. And then there was a there was a bunch okay. more, and then Christian issued a challenge, which, by the way, has been followed up on, and I think they're actually entertaining, making something happen uh, between Alshon 
Who were who were some of the other? You were on. You yeah. Saw that email. So uh, Tim Parks um, loves to loves to make bets, and so he's he's talking with uh, the least quiet hedge fund guy of yeah, all time. He's <laughs> talking with uh, with with some other people, and he is like, okay, what happens if Christian plays James Blake? Christian in tennis. Christian gets to use a tennis racket. James has to use only his hands. So they're playing a regular tennis match. James does not have a racket, but he can catch the ball and throw it back and use one pivot. So he, so right. let's say one let's say hop, Christian, right. not a crow hop, a pivot. Just, like he's got to have like one pivot foot. Yeah. Um so Christian serves, James catches it, James throws it back and they continue the rally in that way. And I was like, Ugh. first off, how the f I'm not going to swear. I got called out on it, even though it's for charity. How the heck do do you come up with something like this, Tim? And then also, like, this is a great yeah. idea. Who who wins this? I mean, I, <laughs> <laughs> the YouTube algorithm can't really separate out tennis from pickleball for me, so I have a decent exposure to a lot of the tennis challenges that are happening, and I've never seen anything like this be proposed. It kind of feels like a ricochet shot against Christian, just to even have it proposed in this manner. I think you would win, but I think Tim is probably taking the perspective of James being like, can this guy make shots? And James will be able to test him very deliberately. I'm like, can you hit three backhands in a row if I'm in this position? Can you hit a forehand down the line? That Yeah, if you hit it, you'll win, but you have to be able to hit it. And right. I think it slows it down to making it feel like the magnifying glass is on Christian a little bit more because there's yeah. not the n traditional tennis rally going on. It's right. like, you know, prod him, Once prod him any which way. Once catches the ball, he can throw it wherever he wants. Right. And th I think yeah. the biggest thing is going to be the serve. I, I told Tim this. I think the biggest issue is going to be the serve and the return. Christian, I think, is going to win, should hold his serve every time. It's very difficult to return a tennis ball with a racket. Now, the biggest issue for, for James is going to be the reach on yeah. a serve. You can slice the ball pretty far away from him, yeah. pull him off the court, whatever. Like, and also James's serve is but, throwing overhand into a box. He can't really get that much on a on a serve either. So I think I think Christian needs to win the point within the first shot. Otherwise, I think it's a pretty good bet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would have put it past Christian him to come up with a good bet where it does give you the hemming and hawing. But I mean, James better better be able to catch with his offhand. Yeah, like that's he's thing. gonna have to it's yeah full range. extension even on a non-serve he's gonna have to fully i mean what happens if he doesn't catch it i'm assuming any drop has got to be a point for christian oh it has yeah. to be it has to be like how else could well, christian score a point then well he it's like a clean winner or he james doesn't get a hand on it but if, like if james extends and blocks it i think i know this is why catch. i feel like the challenge is like a little like Training wheels esque. I think it's gotta you know. be a clean catch, and I'm predicting Christian winning six one or six two, if it's a set. If this happens, I would love. I mean, Christian before this had texted me the asking for the MLP schedule because it is, I think, very real. Like he wants to find the time and place for for Jay, for Alshon and Blake to go at it. Um, but let's not take away from the real point. Is like Christian is not afraid to be in the limelight like and he's already visible given the you know his vlogging and his his results and his on on court play but he's not i think i don't know if he's like seeking it out every day but like there's certainly some moments where he wants to be in the conversation and you know as a as a well, player friend owner gm not not owner actually just gm i'm like i love it i think it's cool he showed up to He's his a dog. PPA debut with long hair, sleeveless, tatted, yeah. you know, being loud, big fist bumps. Well, like he, yeah. he's playing a character, whether yeah. it's deliberate or that's actually who he is. And we need more of that. I'm a big For sure. fan. Yeah, that's why I'm a, a proponent of his. Uh, I mean, it, battle James big Ignatovich played a character for a year straight in the most recurring way too. You know, like it's, and we're talking about him now because he's very good, but he's also very known. When the first time I saw Alshon, as I said, long hair, sleeveless, tatted, real, real loud, Serratus. flashy player. And I just texted Pardo. I go, this dude, Alshon, is the villain we need. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I mean, yeah. 
We need it. The pickle box. The pickleball box. The, the pickleball box. box. Yeah, the oh, just kidding. It's the pickleball box. The pickleball box. It is a subscription box. Gear, accessories, apparel. And it comes straight to my door with all the hottest pickleball gear in here. It's so hot, I can barely. Over two hundred and fifty dollars of value in each box, and you only pay ninety nine bucks for each one. Go to the Dink Dot Shop. Undoubtedly, the best gift for any pickleballer, or if you're like me. For anybody who listens to this, you're obsessed with pickleball, this is honestly like the perfect thing for you. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, dollar has gone, yeah.